Welcome everyone to the 2021 edition of Power and Revolution, and this is the third episode of the United States series. So, we're now down to negative 1.38%, which is an improvement because it was at 4.5%, I believe. And unemployment is still on the rise, but that's about to come down from uh, some free trade agreements that I made in a previous episode. And what I'm going to do is going to increase employment for young people and seniors. And now let's take a look at inflation. Inflation has gone up. Um, I don't believe it's going to go that much higher than this. Unless I really go crazy with building a whole bunch of stuff. And so let's take a look at our secret service. And I'm going to go ahead and put some people in Ukraine. So we can deter Russia from their influence. And as more agents become available, I'll just continue to add them. One of my men succeeded in infiltrating Key Center. According to my calculations, the informational gain, in geopolitical terms, could be close to 2.73 on Saks graphic. Our agent also allows us to anticipate and therefore counterattack their terrorist projects. You can decide to dismantle this organization, but the more an agent remains infiltrated, the more information can be obtained, and the more effective a future dismantling could be. Do you wish to carry out the dismantling attempt now? I will keep them infiltrated. Our agent number one succeeded in infiltrating the staff. Imponderables accepted. We are therefore able to release a Type E net informational profit. I mean, huge. Ahem. In concrete terms, our extraordinary number one is in a situation to obtain any valuable information of tactical interest. Needless to say, the geopolitical advantage clearly surpasses the ratio of 138 to 1. Okay, so we now have the location of... Uh all of Russia's nuclear submarines. So let's see if they show up. I still don't see them. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not, but I'm not going to worry about it. The bill has been voted on, and the law has been passed. Alright, so our bill for more cameras to help with law enforcement, that just got passed. Your politics are on the right track. At last, the fatherland is ahead who tackles the problems head on. And this is good for the troops' morale. Launch the attack, hold close your positions, the army is with you. Okay, so our free trade agreement just got accepted with Japan, and that should help our economy also. So I've been debating on what I'm going to do with, uh, with Afghanistan, and what I've decided is... 
I'm going to put a few more troops in that country. And if the money that I gave, let's see, how much did I give them? So the $1 billion should actually help them with defeating some of these terrorist organizations. But just in case, I'm going to put more troops over there with some more equipment. And if they're not able to be defeated by, I'm going to say 2022, then I'm just going to send some... Uh, I'm just going to send the troops in to Afghanistan and to start taking these groups out. So it looks like looks like they're actually starting to weaken a bit. So there's only one real region that appears to be under their total control. So, I'm going to send about 10,000. And I'm going to need some missile launchers. Put some missile launchers over there as support. And we're going to go with about 50 tanks. So if I notice that more of these networks start popping up even before 2022 then i'm just gonna go in and uh start taking those guys out Right, so looks like so we can start building these. So we build a thousand and Go with five hundred. All right, so we're finally out of the red and we have point two eight growth, which is only going to go up as time goes on. Okay, so they're asking for us to leave, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. In a statement sent to the press, the terrorist organization has claimed responsibility for the operation. We have collected intelligence from various departments. 
the organizer of this operation has been identified. He has disappeared into thin air, perhaps already left the country. He Right, so now we're going to increase... Our agriculture sector and the apples. And I add two and a half billion dollars to increase that. So our production and our consumption is only off by four percent. And I'm gradually going to increase that with time. So, coffee is a big money maker. So, we're going to... Let's go with three and a half billion. Now we're going to do about $2 billion. So we're pretty close to meeting our demand. Oranges. Let's make that $2 billion. Let's see if we can nationalize this. Uh, don't have the support for it. So I'm just going to add one billion to that. And then vegetables. I'm going to make that five billion. I think you're doing a good job. And you're hardworking. Okay, so we're the first ones with fiber optics. And let me go ahead and patent that. That'll bring in more money. All right, so nuclear fission, fusion power plants will produce much more energy than... Okay. All right, so let's, I'll put one star, which is going to be almost six and a half billion dollars for matter science. Fission. Okay. All right, so what else does that lead to? All right. All right, so let's also invest in energy and environment. Our agent's assessment is that there is a definite risk of him being spotted. Our infiltrated agent was spotted and murdered. Our infiltrated agent is on site. His first report confirms that his cell is operational and has carried out some preliminary tests as set up by the usual protocol with a view to launching his mission. This country will soon be the destination for our secret agents. 
Okay, so we'll see what happens with our network in Afghanistan and see how many terrorist networks pop up. So now let's go into industry. Water supply networks. Let's invest five billion. So let's take a look at our prime rate. It's going down, but uh, that can go down a lot more. So we're going to invest in the drug task force. And we're going to hire about 10,000 more police officers. One of my men succeeded in infiltrating Key Center. According to my calculations, the informational gain, in geopolitical terms, could be close to 2.73 on Saks graphic. Our agent also allows us to anticipate... Right, let's go ahead and infiltrate them. Alright, so it looks like there's a lot of activity in Afghanistan, so... I'm going to send three nuclear stop planes over. Since they have long range missile capability. It's going to keep them within this area for, for support at least. Well, actually, yeah, they can hit the entire country, but more specifically, I'll use them to do more support for the southern part of Afghanistan. The preparations are complete. The whole country is preparing to joyfully celebrate this occasion. It would be a joy. Hey, so we got inflation to start going back down again. And I'm going to rehabilitate 300,000 homes. And I'm going to spend six and a half billion for road mending, maintenance. Our last soldiers have handed over to local forces and are on their way back. All our bases have been abandoned. This historic day marks the end of our military presence in this country. There you go. From our side, our only concern now is that our diplomatic and economic relations will be fruitful in the future. Now, let's look at the war between Ethiopia and Sudan, see who's coming out on top. So, even though Sudan lost more, I mean, less... Ethiopia still has more troops. They also have more of a air force. So without getting directly involved,
Let's give them I'm going to give them $1.2 billion to um, help with their efforts. Our infiltrated agent is on site. His first report. All right, so we finally have our network in Ukraine. Our agent's assessment is that there is a definite risk of him being spotted. All right, let's go ahead and come out. Okay, so our unemployment is improving. It's true that the blow cannot really be described as fatal. Two arrests. All right, so our growth is now up to 3.88%. Let's take a look at our debt. So our debt is going down. We basically pretty much cut our budget deficit down significantly. Let's go back to Secret Service and see... All right, so we're going to send them back into the Italian Mafia. And let's attack the Russian Mafia also. All right, so we have 90 agents available. So we're going to increase Mexico to 100. and put 50 in the Af Afghanistan. So we still have another 29 agents. Um, all right, so for national territory, we're gonna increase that by another 5,000. And let's increase agent training. It's true that the blow cannot really be described as fatal. Two arrests. So let's see what we can do with immigration. Okay, so that's a lot more popular. Let me see what it says for all. I know that's not going to go over well. Yep, exactly. So. So let's do that. Okay, so happiness increased. All right, 
so Kosovo wants to join, so let's go ahead and hit accept. We'll see what happens. <laughs> We know that undocumented workers work illegally in many companies which maintain them in unbearable and precarious situations while escaping taxation. This proposed regulation is intended to bring humanity, common sense, and the law into the functioning of our society. society. Alright, and before anyone says it in the comments, yes, I know this is something uh, this president wouldn't be doing. I mean, well, I'll just leave that subject alone. But as I said, this is kind of going to be based on things that I would do. Sharing this moment of intense spirituality with the faithful gives me great joy. On this holy day, I thank all of our communities across the country, both those in cities as well as those in small, remote villages, who are all coming together in prayer. Right, so it looks like our nuclear subs are in position with the exception of one who's getting there. All right, so it looks like there's only one region that, uh, seems to be highly influenced by the terrorists. And one terrorist camp, which, all right, that's gone already. So we're just going to continue to observe what they're doing. Oh, I didn't even see that the northern region. All right, so. Yeah, I may have to do an operation in the northern part of Afghanistan. Just going to wait a little bit more. All right, so that 300,000 was done, and we're going to do another 300,000. And also... All right, so our Hyperloop is now available. So the first one we're gonna do is from Los Angeles to Las Vegas. So we'll wait until that's completed before um build any more hyperloops because the next one that I intend on doing is from either Rochester to Toronto or Buffalo to Toronto. Well, it looks like it may be from Buffalo since they have a slightly higher population. 
in Rochester. And let's, uh, something I forgot to do from the very beginning. It's going to national, nationalize nuclear energy. Let's look at what our current energy status is. So we have a surplus of 178 terawatts. And so now let's start on our oil production. So we're going to go ahead and start off with Georgia and we're going to build five shale oil wells there. All right, so our growth is now up to 5.4%. So just out of curiosity, I want to see what our oil level is at. So we produce the most oil, but we're not meeting our own demand. So that's going to be the goal for complete energy independence from oil. Oh, gas wells. Okay, so let's see if we can build So we'll do a total of five. And one more. And increase the budget a little bit for education.
and technical training. Right, so let's make arrangements again to um, bring down the interest rate. We'll sit with them also. And then let's try Russia also. Switzerland. So our total loan is twenty trillion dollars. That's absolutely ridiculous. And our interest is interest payment is almost a trillion. All right, so we're gonna sit with all of those countries. And that should hopefully bring down uh, our quarterly loan. And I think I'm going to end this episode. Um, thanks for all the support. Please continue with the likes. Um... Click the bell if you haven't already so you can be notified of future videos. And I will try to keep this trend up with uh, doing a video every couple of days. But uh, that may or may not happen because I still work a full-time job. And sometimes overtime opportunities arise and I usually will take advantage of that. So, in the meantime, um, so four should probably be around Thursday or Friday, or maybe even earlier, depending on my time. So, up until then, see you soon. Take care.